Hello, the East Houston Street haunt. There's the panda again. And we put cobwebs on the bushes. Some lights on the tree. You can see the fucked up house. And trash can. Uh, cobweb on the porch. And let me get my phone if I can Here we go again. Phone. Okay, it is September 25th, Sunday, 7.19 p.m. And you know, do recording. A little vlog, you replace the lights. I don't know if I talked about that already. Ah, oh, this camera is stupid to hold. Okay, and you see the pallet wall, and they turn over here. We got uh, off the tree, we cut off some limbs. We're going to use for cover in the backyard, and we're still at work over here. We have more string up, if you can see some string, you know outlined in these scenes. You got a T post here. Pallets. Make another pallet wall right here. Be a fortune teller scene right here. A little fortune teller being all creepy and stuff. And I am having a hard time holding this camera. Let me put my water bottle down. <laughs> okay. Fortune teller scene here. I'll just start from the beginning, okay. They come through, you see the little pallets. And uh, that would be the Freddy Krueger scene. That would be the second scene. So coming through, and this would be the, oh my God, I forgot. The scream, the killer scream scene. This, uh, we got this prop, little stabbing scream dude. You can see in the other videos. And he'll be right here. We'll make it look, you know, like he's stabbing you. That'd be cool. Good cross. This will be the pumpkin patch area. I'll probably put the pumpkins out here to get them out of the garage, make some more room. So we find what we're looking for. And then, okay, wait. We got the string. There'll be a wall right here. We, we can see it. And this will be the vampire. The couch won't be here. We moved the vampire around. Moved it to the side where Tarman was. And, you know, this will be vampire. I think I'm going to play vampire this year. I don't know how the grunt is. It's kind of creepy over there. Got locusts and shit. And there's a door. We put a door up. As you can see, a door will put something there. Or cover it up. Or have somebody. You know, being on this shot, I don't oh, know. The scary chamber, as you can see, we're still haven't put no part of plastic up, still need to. From that right here will be a wall to scare chamber, so people will turn here. We're coming through here, and right here will be the tent. I think probably the tent, the camp scene. We have a decent sized tent. We're gonna use the tent also for props. <clears throat> Though it hurts, so. And so I think where the string's at, we put a little post up. Cemented in the ground. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna go mess with it. Hopefully it doesn't fall out. And then the string is going across. This will be the tarman. There's the move it over here. Probably got spray paint black and make a lid for it. So whoever's tarman pops out and like if he can crawl out and stuff, that'd be creepy. He like saying brains like Return of the Living Dead. We got a doorway here. People are looking at the video like what the fuck? I think I don't know if it's working right now. The door actually opens. He's wanting to get. My dad wants to get hinges. Made the door just to be creepy. Part of it, some fence here, some wire or boards going across. I'm thinking other, you'll see what's fixing to happen. Put a door, like have it, you know, boards across it or something. Thought you're trying to keep whoever's in and out. Or a scare chamber. People will be scaring there. Here, I don't know if I'll cover it. We're just using this as a wood, you know, just need to block it off. But for my six foot zombie cutout dude here, 
Tony Espini, and here is the hallway to the graveyard. We're going to cover the top, put a little moral thing, a little scene setter on the side. Creepy looking. And they come into the graveyard. You can see the archway that has been done on it. We'll probably, probably put some um, fabric, the spooky fabric, the gauze, whatever it's called. The, it looks like cheesecloth or whatever. They come into the graveyard. Everything's still laying around. This would be blocked off that way. And our tombstones, little animated dudes, animated props be all right here. Mm, I want to make another coffin. There's a coffin. I need to spray paint those black. You need to get some more spray paint. And we'll write little funny things on them. And leave the lid like it is. You can see a little pickaxe. Yesterday I dug a hole. I was wanting to dig another one today, but I got lazy. There's that. Another grave hole. All the dirt. From the dirt to the front yard. Cover holes in the front of the house. The grave from last year. It'll be a slanted plastic wall going across. I just need to get the... I think I used trout line last year. Hanging plastic from it. And I'll probably dig another grave. Oh, probably right there or something. Or in the middle. Be cool. That's the one that gives me graves as possible. People jump out at them. And this is might be the UFO scene, as you can see. It's UFO scene here. And then they go into the spotter scene. Spooky spotters. He got some uh, of the stock stuff that we had to cut down from the very first video. They dried out, looking pretty good. And this is all the stuff I've raked to the side. Basically dead grass. And we use it for cover somehow. Put put it against the fence again, or something. We gotta cover the fences. Just hold it in, and this will be basically. I don't know. We'll probably have a scene here. If you can see, a scene here, and then starting probably from here. Try to see if you can see my finger. Here, all the way down there, would be a cave. The cave will be filled with rats, bats, snakes. And you can see we've done, we covered up some of the fog room. We still got, I'll probably cover the inside to hold the fog in. We're having leaks. We did a test run last night. And, you know, we tried different things. The entrance, we're still working on. Shit, a little stupid string. Where's the mic so I don't cover it again? Okay, it's on top. Okay, let me figure out how to get this up. I can staple the shit out of this stuff. So. As you can see, I don't know if you can see. There's a mask we were using last night. Mm, two fog machines, I don't know if you can see them. You can barely see in here, didn't know it was so dark. We had a strobe light in here. And you can see the holes. I need to cover this inside with plastic so the fog can stay in and not leak. And we got holes on the side in here. I need to cover, I get some tissue, I mean not tissue, but couch cushion. There's just a couch and I'll just probably cover the hole. You can see where it, the fog can just be leaking out of. So I'll cover that up. Hopefully I'll cover everything up enough. You see you put a blue tarp. I don't know. I don't know how it'll look. I mean, if it's really foggy, last time we had it really foggy, but not foggy enough. Like at the top of the room. I mean it's a big ass fog room. You can tell. It would be scary. We'll have like a strobe up. No, strobe will be on that side over there. Pointing this way, huh? So hopefully an actor in here don't get too blinded. But you pointed this way. They're gonna come in that way over there somewhere. And the actor will be over here. And he'll come at them. Hopefully it doesn't scare him. I mean, it's, I don't know how it's gonna work out. Friday, when we do basically a test run, we're gonna see. And then I'll come into the black light room. I still gotta fix this area here, as you can see. Probably get black plastic going across. Just in case fog does leak out of this uh, fog room. You just don't have it going all over the place. Have the air list going to the black light room. 
this is the black light room. We still got, we had it covered and the wind blew it down, so I need to find the plastic again and recover it. Cover the top. And I'll probably get another black light for the room and cover this with black plastic. And then exit in here. Okay, there'll be a wall here. Is the fence post connected? And probably, I know, probably another scene right here in this area. Since there'll be a wall, somebody's scared when they come out of the black light room. Okay, I'm gonna stop this real quick. I think I just went over.